Okay, so hello to you. My name is gladfarala.com and this will be how to clean, well, disassemble and clean E1531 Acer Aspire. No better in mind. This one has broken plastic as you can see it already. So now, once when I clean it, I will be needing to press here in order to close it. So this turns out to be a shitty laptop which falls apart obviously. Now bear in mind that most of these Acer's disassemble in the same way, but since I do have to clean this one, I'll be showing you how to disassemble it. So, I'll be placing this thing here. I think that all of the screws are of the same size. You can remove battery just by sticking the screwdriver and moving it to the right to remove hard drive you just pull now sometimes this gets a bit sticky okay and and that's about it okay okay one screw now this one is white and this one is a bit shorter but as you can actually see you do have markings right here so there's that and these two are the same size so okay. oh, sorry screwdriver fell oh. Be right back. Okay, so two hours later. One more screw. Now you pull your CD ROM out. Place it somewhere. Now there are a couple of more screws here and here and here and here and in here and in here. And in here. So without further ado. Again, all of these screws are the same size, only these two, only these two are different size. So, <laughs> okie dokie. Okay, let's see if I have missed something. No, I have not. So far, bear in mind that this plastic is quite shitty, so the tendency to fall apart is, believe it or not, high. Okie dokie. Now there are a couple of smaller screws which are in here, in here. And in here, so we'll be using our small screwdriver. Okay. So far there are three types of screws, and I think that's about it. Okay, 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 okay. There is one more screw here. And that's pretty much it. Now we'll probably we'll probably need to remove this wireless card. Actually, I will probably say 100%. So I will be removing it right now because I believe that is the only thing that's actually holding the motherboard. Maybe beside one or two screws tops. Okay. Now let's see what do we have here. Okay, so in here we have uh, some hooks. If you see, there are four hooks. So I will be using my scalpel. Okay. There you have it. Okay. This one actually went inside. 
Okay. Once you have removed the keyboard, pull it up and just press this up and pull the keyboard out. Okay. Same thing for this connector. And I think that's about it. This thing should just pop right out. Unless I have forgotten some screws, but I think I did not. Oh, one more to remove. I am a bit sick, so sorry about that. Okay, just to see if we have some screws that I did not remove, but... Oh yes, and you will probably need to remove this. So... Hmm. And Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I do have a pry tool. Oh. I'll try to open it without it. Just a second, but this should be removed fairly easily. Okay, just by moving it a bit. There you go. And there you have it. You just need to jiggle it a bit. Now this is that top part, and as I have stated, this thing is broken, as well as the other one, so that sucks. Now I will be removing the uh, cables for the wireless, and these need to be removed as well, now I just pull this thing up, and I uh, need to disconnect this and remove it and there should be just one where the arrow is i think that, that should do the trick on uh, removing the motherboard of course you will need to remove these two uh, connectors these are speakers and microphone okay and you'll have to remove this is I just press it up this is um, the display and of course the other speaker now let's see this is just glued together this is also okay somebody obviously did open it and as you can see this is not something that that's been put together as it should oh well now we have this one more cable which is the power supply you just pull it oh this is dirty and there you have it that's the uh, entire motherboard so I'll be cleaning this <sighs> fixing this and uh, we'll be making videos on how to do other stuff obviously um, so there you have it I hope you find this thing useful I might even record uh, me putting it back together uh, we'll see okay so I will be removing this thing just to show you how this thing gets dirty now bear in mind that this laptop is i believe one year old one and a half years maybe and this thing i think it was bought new so hmm, go figure so this is the uh, actually the amount of dust that this thing collects so obviously you can see the reason why this thing overheats and thermal paste is well no longer a paste now it's well not a paste and there you have it i'll be removing the fan and cleaning it and i hope you find this video useful now just a recap when you put it back there is one screw in here one screw in here you need to connect this thing connect microphone one speaker another speaker pull put the white uh, wi <coughs> wire for the wireless through this hole put it back close it and that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed well you know the drill bye bye